Welcome back to my channel and I know you guys might see this makeup in a different video but I'm like filming three videos in one shot guys I'm just like in a filming mode kind of thing and um you know it all just kind of came together but anywho I'm going to in this video I'm going to review the Maybelline fit me loose finish finishing powder um, I purchased mine from Ulta Beauty I'm going to say I spent $7.99 for it which is not a bad thing at all like oh my goodness when I tell you my first for my skin tone I've had the elf one anything that's like kind of yellow kind of gives me the ultimate flashback and I mean you know you don't want to be out here in these streets looking like a ghost so I was just like you know trying to find something that just fits me you know what I mean like like Maybelline <laughs> no I um, yeah, I was just trying to find um a loose powder that will work for me and I like that this has a little color to it it does have um there is a shade I meant to say darker than this this is what the packaging pretty much looks like and you know, yeah, so basically it's a mineral based um, powder and it controls shine. So people who have oily skin, I guess it's supposed to, you know, it, it's supposed to work for you, right? Um, it can be, it says that it can be used alone, like without applying a foundation. I personally wouldn't do that, but you know, that's only you. And it says that it's lightweight. It's very um, lightweight, I will say that. When I did my demo, I did feel like, okay, yeah, I get what they mean by lightweight. Um, I'm, again, not really big with baking. I don't know if you can bake with this product. I don't know how to bake cookies, but I don't know how to bake on my face. I'm just not good with it at all. But as far as setting your foundation, you always want to. And this is something that, like, it magnifies underneath your eyes. So it does kind of give you that, like... Um, in a sense, like highlighting or magnifying look. Do you kind of get what I mean? Yeah. I like that. I don't like, you know, just to set my phone. I like it to look like, wow, you know? And I feel like this definitely does it. Um, I know she was telling me to go darker than this one. I forgot what, I'm going to put it somewhere in the video what color is darker than this one. But I would recommend this if you're trying to get that little, like, highlighting like magnify you'll see in my demo guys that it definitely does that for my face but if you're looking for that then you definitely want to go with that shade a little lighter if you're my skin complexion um i know for dark skinned women it is hard for us to find finishing powder that does not look crazy on us it doesn't have us looking all caked up and i get it i get it because i've been through it and I'm so glad that I found this product and I will rave on and on and on and on and on about this product. And I'm glad that my cousin actually put me on to this. So this does what I want it to do. Um, I decided to go with this deep because I wanted it to be like a little lighter. Anywho, I'm going to use my um, beauty blender that I just used. And just add some there. Like so. <laughs> and guys this is kind of like a first impression because <clears throat> I'm not really good with setting anything I don't really get into that so I should see what it does for me this is the biggest brush that it comes that comes in it and I've already added some loose powder to my face, so I'm just going to use this brush to help blend that out. Underneath my eyes. Just, I like this finishing powder. I like what it did for my face. Like, it's just beautiful. Like, I like it so much. I'm so glad that I definitely picked this up. Again, my cousin hit me up and was like, Asia, go get that. And I was like, all right. Because I'm always looking for a finishing powder. powder. And uh, first of all, let me just say, I'm always looking for a loose finishing powder. But I don't want to spend, like, a lot of money for it. Like, I'm sorry. I just don't. Um, 
you know what someone mentioned i'm just going to mention it because they did um they said this is kind of similar to the laura, laura mercier um medium deep translucent translucent powder i'm not sure because i've never purchased it but that's just word of mouth that's what i heard so i guess if you guys are looking for that but looking for much affordable you would go with this this flashback because you know you just want to make sure you don't really have have that flashback you just want to make sure you know the best way i do this or i'm going to do this is, but anywho you buy this ring light that they have on amazon and you see it's like that and it just clips onto your phone so ready product it doesn't give me that crazy flashback and i appreciate this product for that so yeah check it out it's only 7.99